just having a read as you do uh, the rebirth of mega drive this is sega power august 1994 where you can see the uh, genesis 32x so this is the us iteration of the 32x it's been introduced to us in sega power oh, i'm sorry i've just been distracted by uh street fighter 2 oh it's kylie minogue um but um it's announcing here the 32x but it's actually they're saying it's going to be known as the mega drive 32 in Europe, but obviously, as we know, it clearly uh, wasn't named as such. Um, and I thought, well, I've got a 32x collection. Perhaps you'd like to, uh, perhaps you'd like to see it. So uh, let's go take a look at what I have. Hang on, hang on. What's going on here? Uh, I've been very fortunate to have a few 32x uh, bits and pieces in terms of hardware, um, and we'll look at the software in a moment. My story of the 32x began here with this box it's very faded you can see obviously it's had a lot of sun damage um this actually you can see some of the original blues coming through there um and um you know it's it's obviously had a slightly tough time uh interestingly uh, i'll focus on shadow of atlantis i think i'll do a video on that that was never released but uh, but nevertheless um it's it's here and it was in about 2004, 2005, I was at a boot sale and I had to pay £35 for this, which was an extortionate amount in the early 2000s. And I did um and ah, and I had not seen the 32X before. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. So it came in the box. I've subsequently um, bought the manual. Um, I've subsequently bought the manual, but it was essentially it was this. There was actually no patch cable. Uh, the patch cable was missing so i actually had no way uh, i didn't realize that at the time i didn't know you needed a, a cable a patch cable between the mega drive and the uh, 32x so i didn't know when i got it back that, that it wasn't going to work um, you actually get some of the graphics because the 32x um, outputs uh, some elements in the mega drive outputs the others so you can see you can see it working but you can't really play any games and back then, it, it wasn't very easy to get replacement cables. It is now. So it kind of sat around for a long time. And I thought I'd wasted 35 quid. But uh, those of you that are in the know now will know that 35 quid is actually a bargain today. So, um, but, you know, I'm glad I took the, the bite at the time. And, um, you know, I was happy to acquire that. This actually came, I think, later that year. You can see the warranty sticker here. Um, I picked this up from a second-hand store in uh, in Norwich called Second Hand Land. And uh, it was just £2. It was just literally just this. Just this, no cables, no nothing, just £2. And um, and um, I just took a punt on it. I thought, well, you know, you can't go wrong for two quid. So, and there I had two 32Xs with no patch cables for a while. And then much later on, I got the, uh, the bridge cable, as can be seen here on the US one. So what's the story behind uh, this US hardware? I've had a US Mega Drive, uh, or should I say, sorry, Sega Genesis for some time now. Um, this 32X I picked up in uh, just before the pandemic. Uh, so in January 2020, I was fortunate enough to go out to the US. And I um, obviously I didn't drive, but I did lots of Ubers. And I went to watch, uh, watch some tennis in San Jose. And then I walked to a mom and pops uh, sort of retro store. And uh, I just asked the chap if he had a 32X. And he said, yes. And I was like, okay, great. Um, and he pulled out a bag with a power supply and this. And I said, how much do you want for it? And he said, $60. And uh, I could have bitten his hand off. Luckily, I had enough cash because he didn't take card. Uh, and immediately walked away with that. Um, so uh, I've been able to compliment my, uh, mega, my US uh, Mega Drive with a 32X. So that's the hardware. And subsequently, patch cables have become a lot easier to get hold of. So uh, I've got loads and loads of those now. But now for a few other bits and pieces. So what uh, I really like, this was produced by Ben Boyd. He's on Galaxy Sega forums. Uh, he produced uh, this little collector's guide. It's a lovely book about all the software uh, that's available. Uh, I think this is orientated towards the power region. Um, it does have... Um, you know, some of the uh, American uh, games here as well, but it's primarily orientated towards the power region. And it's just a nice little accompaniment. And um, I think it was about tenor. Uh, I, don't, I think he just did a short run of them. Uh, and I love it. Um, so I picked up that just as a little collector's guide, uh, just to supplement this and to support Ben's work. Uh, as I say, he's on the Galaxy, Galaxy Sega Facebook group. So let's have a look at some of the cartridges then. 
boom, software. So a quick word on these two first, uh, box with manuals, Star Wars Arcade and Doom. Pick them up with the 32X here in the box. So the chap was selling the 32X, he had a, a range of software. I think he was a reseller, even back in the early 2000s they existed at boot sales. And I can't remember spending particularly too much on this, maybe five, ten pounds each. Um, so I think I got a deal, a bundle. So that's the software I had a bit of fade on there. So perhaps it had been stored in the same space as the uh, the game itself. So that was nice. And obviously it was some time before I could play them properly uh, with the patch cables. This software here I've got subsequently. Uh, I've got a Mortal Kombat 2 um, cart only. Uh, I can't remember how I've acquired this. Might have been from a boot sale, but I've had it a long time. Uh, a very good port, probably one of the best cartridge um, ports of Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, Virtua Fighter uh, 32X. Uh, I've not played this, I got this I think during the pandemic. I think someone was selling, selling off some games. Eight quid for a loose cart, I thought that was a good, good price. Um, this I got years ago. Um, and I wasn't too familiar with the region locks, um, but I think it was going for about five quid on eBay. And uh, it's NFL quarterback, and I, I don't like American football much, but uh, I thought I must have this uh, just for a future collection. It's actually a blockbuster rental uh, iteration because, um, yeah, I don't know whether US software is normally in hard cases, um, but it's there. It kind of works on the power machine. It freezes at a point, uh, but since I got the US hardware, I've been able to play that properly and uh, do, it, do it justice. Oh, little jump cut. Uh, I forgot to include this. I can't believe I want it. Right, so the PAL version of Knuckles Chaotix goes for a huge amount, maybe several hundred uh, boxed. A loose cart, I think, is easily going to set you back a hundred. Um, this is the uh, US version, which I got for like £26 um, on an auction last year. Um, and because I got the US hardware, it's perfect. Actually, uh, a very enjoyable game, nevertheless. And then to uh, finish some of the uh, PAL games that I've got, uh, FIFA 96 um, boxed. Um, it's actually very much like the 3DO version, so you've got the 3D isometric view on the first uh, FIFA's to go isometric. Uh, I believe the 3DO can claim that, but uh, certainly the 32X version uh, followed up. Um, feels a little slightly unfinished, but I really enjoy this. I think that's a really good, solid um, version of FIFA, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. I think uh, Virtual Racing is great. Um, the deluxe version on the 32X is a huge upgrade on the Mega Drive uh, version, which had the SVP chip. This sort of takes it to the next level. Really, really good. Uh, and then finally, surprisingly, actually one of my favourite games on the 32X, uh, I rate it higher than PGA Tour Golf on the Mega Drive, is um, Fred Couples' 36 Great Holes. Uh, I mean... Um, you know, he's done well to have 36 great holes. Uh, and obviously we get to enjoy those 36 great holes with him. Uh, I really enjoy this. I think this is a really solid uh, golf game. So that is my 32X um, collection and uh, a huge fan of it. Finally able to enjoy it in maybe the past 5-10 years getting patch cables. Uh, and I'd highly commend it to anyone.